but be it your first job or that summer internship or an internship for a longer period of time there are lakhs of students around the country who are hoping to get an opportunity of that kind lots of top institutions of course visit campuses frequently there are several who also recruit from here others who take students for internships which is why of course the queues of students outside such events only growing longer we are at the faculty of management studies one of india's premier management institutes so with the recruiters you're going to hear from them on what they're looking for if you're one of them who's hoping to work with the very best joining me now maninder anand the associate director with kpmg also that in the city vp operations with tech mahindra thanks sir, very much both uh, for speaking to us mr anand first to you there are you know all, all those students who have who have a lot of hope and expectations you know from a, a campus recruitment so when uh, say someone from kpmg is going out there to look for what's on offer of course you would only go to the top i would imagine handful of institutions in the country right. to look for the cream so you're already sort of got the best on offer in front of you among that who are those students what have you seen who are the students who really make the cut so uh, i guess it's the first 5 7 minutes that actually decide which uh, candidates make it Uh, as a recruiter or as a person who's screening individuals one looks at uh, skill sets one looks at skill sets the other is the positive attitude the positive attitude that they have which they bring to the table in those 5 7 minutes right that's an important thing you're saying skills is one thing but your attitude that is is is, is what really count would you agree or is there something that yeah, you'd like I to add subtract it to is it is generally said that people uh, recruiters hire for attitude and not for skills or knowledge which people possess it's, it's very very important and i think there are two things which uh, i personally would uh, you know go for one is the commitment levels which of course uh, the advantage of selecting people from a premier institute mm -hmm. are you know they throughout Uh, their journey to the institute you know they have slogged so much that clearly shows their commitment towards a particular right. goal right? right whether it is a goal of reaching a particular institute studying in a particular in institute and you can tell all this i, I would yeah. imagine with your experience in a couple of minutes uh, yeah. in okay. the first 5 7 minutes like what i said is the deciding mm. period that's where the body language shows ah, okay. how comfortable the person is how confident is he mm. um, and how prepared is he because the first few questions actually decide which direction the conversation will go in so is it fair to say that the whole idea behind it is to try and throw the the student off really to try and sort of Not understand exactly. no i think what has changed over a period of time is initially these were called interviews hmm. and now they're called discussions i see so when when you're in a discussion mode it's a exchange of sort of views it's more free flowing it's a free flowing conversation as it were that's right okay so when we uh, speak you know The important point that you made that skills are already sort of out there you've been to the best institutes you've got those skills you've got a commitment you've stayed in it for the long run you made it to that institute and we keep coming back to attitude so define that for us when you say the attitude is very important and you're looking for what exactly are you looking for in attitude and how do you gauge it okay i think first and foremost is how open you are how willing you are to learn new things how open you are to suggestions how open you are to change you know so having a very rigid attitude uh, uh, attitude which is not flexible let's say if i make a comment and you know you try to defend it too much over defend it i'm not saying defending it is wrong but uh, defending it too much or not trying to get the positive message out of that is something which would reflect uh, upon your uh, not so good attitude uh, towards looking at things in fact that's i think something that we can keep in mind for beyond that at uh, campus placement also that Absolutely. you don't don't really need to keep Absolutely. defending it does any sort of instance sort of uh, cross your mind at the moment of an of an you know of a moment when you may have question somebody and uh, any sort of instance that comes to mind so or? it's like a uh, without naming the individual yes, i think course. it's uh, there was an instance where we were in the first 5 7 minutes trying to engage in a discussion and we threw up something which we felt was not possible I see to the person and that person was time and again trying to attempt to ensure that it can be done okay and in the end he said and I said why are you trying at something which we know it can't be done he said even impossible says i am possible i see so that's kind of an attitude that one looks at which makes a distinction between one candidate and the other okay and if i were to ask you what are the sort of the, the three things that you would suggest that you know someone going in for such an interview or such a discussion never do what are the three top no nos 
and then I'll get you to say the, the, three, the three things that you must do and the three things that you must not do. Um, don't over defend something. If don't you over defend right. something. You so know, don't, don't, don't be, get defensive. Be, don't get um, overly defensive about um, a particular point. Uh, you know, don't try to explain things uh, beyond a certain point. You know, over explaining things also uh, could uh, uh, go against you. So uh, don't something. go to either extreme. I, I, do either not extreme, be laid back. Yeah. Do not be overconfident. Absolutely. Sort of yeah. But be, but be yeah. passionate about whatever you're talking, saying. Right. You know. And uh, before I wrap, there are all those people who say that those few minutes really shouldn't determine the rest of your life. And and very often they don't. There are other they opportunities don't. that life, of course. Yeah throws your way, you just uh, learn to grab them. But for all those who get really disappointed or sort of really take it as a big, big setback, you know, if they are, say, not picked up by someone like you, what would you say? I would say that for any, uh, any kind of a relationship to materialize, it needs to be a win-win. Hmm. So here, if you don't make it into one organization, uh, by God's grace, there are multiple opportunities that exist today which didn't exist when we were passing out of campus. Well. And, Last and, words, yeah, yes. just to add to that, I think we at Tech Mahindra, we like uh, what we say, uh, we like to celebrate failures, you know, because whatever learning failures can give you, probably success cannot give you. At times, you know, you will achieve success, but you would not uh, be able to analyze it so thoroughly as you would be able to analyze your failures and learn from it. It's not the but end of the world, don't treat the, it rather, like that. Rather, you know, analyze what's gone wrong, because probably, you know, when you get the right opportunity, you'll be able to use all that learning right. and become more successful with that. Right, and that yeah. success is going to perhaps be sweeter be than sweeter you perhaps than. imagine. But sure. thanks very much sure. for speaking to us, Thank and I you. hope that you got it all out there. The three things that you must do to try and crack that interview, the three things that you must avoid and also always remember that it's not the end of the world if you don't make it this time. Other opportunities there have your name on it. Well, we are taking a quick break on that note. Thanks very much. If you missed any of our episodes this week, you can catch them again on Sunday between 11.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. only on NDTV Prime. the exhilaration, the anxiety. This admission season, get a head start. Send us your queries and we will have them answered. College to course, our experts are here to help you decide. Only on Heads Up, every weekday at 6.30pm on NDTV Prime. Mm -hmm.